Hi there, we are back, and I must apologize uh, once again, I think for the third video in a row, uh, that we have not got a new laptop with uh, editing software, so we're going to be doing a one-shot uh, review here with no fancy edits or screen caps or any of the other cool stuff we should try and do, but we want to talk about this uh, budget release of Assault on Precinct 13 by John Carpenter. Uh, that has been released in Australasia. It's region free and we talk about the difference between it and some of the other releases. Now there has been special editions in both the US and UK recently that are slightly different from one another and the one thing that all of these releases uh, have the same is the same uh, visual audio presentation as the original 2008 image release from the United States. Uh, this one, in fact, has the uh, same special features uh, listed as that release, uh, as we can see here. These are the original special features that came out that are the same on all of the releases. Uh, audio commentary with John Carpenter, interview with John Carpenter and Austin Stoker, isolated music score by John Carpenter, radio spots and original theatrical trailer. Uh, there is actually a special feature, quite a big special feature, that is not listed on the back, but we will get into that in a moment. Uh, the American release from Shout Factory also, also includes a new 8-minute interview with Austin Stoker, a 13-minute one with Nancy Loomis, a still gallery, and a second audio commentary with art director and sound effect designer Tommy Lee Wallace. The British release has all of these and then some more. It has a interview with executive producer Joseph Kaufman that runs 16 minutes, a nine minute early short film from John Carpenter called Captain Voyeur, and a documentary uh, about the uh, Charlotte Sovac trying to track down actress Laurie Zimmer who played Lee in the film, so uh, which is, runs almost an hour, so quite extensive special features on the British one, probably the best all-round package special features. But this one here has one special feature uh, that none of the others do, which is it also includes the director's cut of John Carpenter's first film from 1974, Dark Star. Uh, it isn't standard definition and it's non-anamorphic, but it's an okay enough looking print. It's a very obviously a very low budget film, even more low budget than this one, and a, uh, a cool little special feature. I'm not a huge fan of Dark Star, and this is probably the only way I'd ever get it as an add-on to another film. And it looks okay. There has been a Blu-ray release, Blu release of Dark Star, but it's the 83-minute cut. This is the 71-minute director's cut. Yes, a director's cut that's uh, quite a bit shorter. And uh, it's interesting that they, maybe it was a late edition, but it's not listed on the artwork. Now, but as you can see here, just so you know, I'll go to the special features. We'll scroll down through the ones I mentioned, and there it is, Dark Star, Director's Cut, and I'll skip into the film a bit, it has 20 chapters. It's an okay looking uh, print for what it is for an old low budget film, um, as you can see, it's got the big, it's a widescreen, but it's got the black bars at the side, so it's not really uh, the most ideal release, but it is what it is. It's another special feature that's different from the other two special edition releases that have come out in recent years. And um, there is one other cool thing, which I will show you. It has a reversible cover. Now this is the cover I'm gonna use, uh, this reversible one, because it does have mention of Dark Star in quite a cool way. Um, and it has a cool alternate front cover. The famous ice cream scene from Assault and Paris 13. And then on the spine, it mentions Dark Star, Assault and Paris 13 slash Dark Star. John Carpenter double feature. So it makes me think that it was not really a late edition if... I don't know why they don't mention it on the actual cover. Um, but it has it all here. The Spaced Out Odyssey, Dark Star, in the back cover. Front, back. Interesting stuff. 
Okay, so that's the Australasian release uh, for those who might be interested, and thanks for watching. I'm going to try and get the proper videos up and rolling soon.